The LaTeX type setting system is very good for producing documents. It's especially useful for creating documents that have got mathematics in them and uh, many situations where we might want to create a presentation that looks reasonably professional and we w might choose to use LaTeX in particular if we want to put mathematics in the presentation. However, we can still make good looking presentations without the need to put any mathematics in them. So, previously there weren't always very easy ways to create a slideshow presentation in LaTeX and more recently a graphics package, PGF, was created by Tiltanto and he used this package to create LaTeX Beamer which is a document class that is set up nicely for creating presentations using LaTeX. So if we want to create a presentation in LaTeX, the first thing we need to do is to specify the document class as we would in other LaTeX documents and it's simply called Beamer. So we need to make sure that this is installed first before we can use it. So once we've got our LaTeX document we have a begin document and end document command and inside there we're putting a single frame which has got a title page in it through the title page command. So this begin frame, end frame is used by LaTeX Beamer to specify when we want to create a frame or a slide. So in our title page we can specify various bits of information. So first of all we can specify the actual title. We can also specify a subtitle which appears under the title but in a smaller sized font. And then we can also specify the author of the document. So we can specify short and long titles which are put in square brackets or in the curly brackets. So the text in the curly brackets is what we tend to see but sometimes in running headers a document will pick out the shorter title which might be useful to save space. So we've got these specified in our curly brackets. So if we ran LaTeX and produced a PDF of this document we would see that this is the title page that's produced. It's reasonably minimalistic. Now as we haven't specified a date, LaTeX Beamer and in fact LaTeX um, other document classes simply take out the current date when the document was compiled. So we've got our title here which is by default in blue. The subtitle is also in blue but as we can see a smaller font and then the author is put below that with a bit of a space and there's another space before the date. Now at the bottom we've got these navigation symbols which allow us to navigate through the document in different steps starting with a single page to multiple pages or sections or subsections etc. So if we go back to our tech maker now what we could do is we can use themes to make our presentations look slightly fancier. Now one theme is called Antibes so if we uncomment that line save this file so we need to make sure that the PDF file is closed and then run our PDF command. So just run it a couple of times to make sure that things are compiled properly. Then hopefully when we click on view PDF we will end up being able to see the document. Although it looks like here we're going to have to manually open it up. So now I'll just resize this so it's within the space of the window. So we can see the same basic layout still applies, but the Antibes theme has put these three colored bars at the top and taken off the short command for the tutorial at the top. The title has been put in a blue box and the navigation bits are also still specified. So if we close that down and uncomment the next line where we're looking at using color themes, so this maroon theme, which is specified using the X color option up for the document class. So again we run our PDF LaTeX and then keep our fingers crossed and this time it does allow us to open the document but a little bit too large for the screen so we scroll it down again. So we see what's happened here is that the elements that were in blue or other colors have now been adjusted to take into account the color that we specified maroon. So this is a simple way that we can change the themes which specifies the, the fonts and the colors and the, the overall layout of our presentation in a reasonably simple way using some predefined themes and if we're feeling more adventurous we could try and create our own theme.